Well, this is Volley Against Violence at Sportsman's Tennis and Enrichment Center in Dorchester. I actually am um, the sponsorship manager here. And there's about 200 kids that come in here to Dorchester from the Blue Hill Corridor. They're from Dorchester, Mattapan, Roxbury. And this is in partnership with the Boston City Police. They pick these kids up, they play tennis with them. Right now they're having circle time and um, they'll have dinner. And it's a safe place where people care about them. And tennis is actually the healthy activity that engages them. But then the camaraderie that happens and the team building that happens these, some of these kids have been coming here for years. Some are here tonight for the very first time. And um, Sportsman's is a very special place in the city. And this program is now being expanded in other cities in the, across the country. In a couple weeks, it'll launch in Atlanta. And then it'll be launching in um, Compton in, um, at the end of April. So it's something that Sportsman's is proud that they've started with the Boston City Police. And if people want to get involved in support, go to sportsmanstennis.org. We actually have a spaghetti dinner here on April 9th, and you can come and check it out, be part of it. And we'll be honoring the uh, Willie Goss, the uh, Superintendent and Chief of the Boston City Police, who is a huge supporter of this. So thank you, and that's what this is all about. Okay, and um, how long has it been going on? Um, I believe Volley and Violence has been going on for close to 10 years. Uh, the brainchild of Officer Frank over there that you've gotten some clips of, and Tony Wiley, the executive director here, and they have really engaged the community, engaged the city of Boston, and legislators, the, the mayor, have all been part of this. And it is, the idea that this is now launching in another city is huge. And uh, is there an age limit to this program? Uh, it's, it's, you know, well, you'll see some as young as toddlers here, and it'll go up to Middle school, high school kids are still coming in here every week, and some have been coming here for years, and then they actually become some of the adult leaders here. So in the circle, they'll actually, that they're having now, there'll be a police officer, a parent, and a lot of times a, um, someone that might be volunteering from either Harvard University or Northeastern in the circle, and just showing that they care, and uh, listening to them, and tonight's lesson is actually, you know, listening to adults, and listening to your parents, and know they care. And uh, anything else you want to add? Just check out the website, you learn what basically this is God's work going on here in a very high risk area. Um, go to sportsmanstennis.org and it's really, really a special place. And uh, if you want to uh, contribute in some way, how can you do that? Go to sportsmanstennis.org and there's a donate button there. You can contribute. You can come to the event on April 9th. See, see the um, volley and violence that Saturday night is a special night where we'll be. Uh, doing honor recognition. Um, there's also a women's leadership breakfast that we're doing with Candy O'Terry on April 26th. Or they can contact me, um, Jarlene Hayes at yahoo.com, and um, I can get them involved. What we want to talk about real quick is the importance of listening to your teachers and parents. It's very important that you listen to the older people that talk to you. The people in your group that are older than you, they care. Some might even love you. It's very important that you listen to them. Not only because they're older than you, because they know more. They know more. So things we say to you, like don't hit the ball too hard because you hurt somebody, it's because we've seen that. When we tell you you have to go to school, it's because it's important. Not because we don't want you home, it's important that you go to school. You have to realize that you are the future of this entire world, and everything you do is, is going to be remembered. 